Hey guys, Dante back here with another little video and in this one I'll be showing you how I crafted my helmet which is a double elevated strength stacking um, helmet. This can be used for either Venom Gyre which I am currently playing as a Scion or it could be used for Cyclone or basically any kind of strength stacker that you want to play. Now the idea behind this helmet is to get the suffixes elevated and uh, then work on the prefixes. How do we do that? Well, it's pretty deterministic actually. You have two, you will need two helmets, one the base and then one the sacrifice, let's call it, because we're going to use a Awakener's Orb and that's going to delete this helmet and put the, the um, Hunter mod on this thing. Now, as you can see this I already crafted it, it has uh, Chaos Res and Chaos Damage to Spells which means it's basically ready to be um, hit by an Orb of Dominance. How you get these mods is, I surprisingly got it on the first try, I actually used only one fossil and I used um, Chaos, it, Chaos Fossils, more Chaos Modifiers and I actually got it on the first try which means that we have two mods one, the one that we want and another one to burn. Basically, now that item is ready to be used with an Orb of Dominance. Now, this is a 50-50. Um, it will either elevate the Chaos Res or it will either elevate the Chaos Damage to Spells. In that case, we need to go again. So, let's test our luck and see what we get. And got lucky and it actually elevated the minus 12 Chaos Res, which is fantastic. So, this item is now done. Now we got our base item. Again, for this item we want a critical strike chance or a gain accuracy equal to your strength, which is an attack mod. Now, uh, you need an additional mod to be able to use a number of dominance like we did on the first one. So I'm using uh, attack and crit to hopefully get crit multi and then get a orb of dominance in as well. So this might take a little bit. don't think I have any more fossils so I'm just gonna use attack one see how lucky we get now the idea of the base helmet is ideally you want to buy it with the enchantment that you want to keep since the running lab is really painful Now, for this not to take too long, I'm just gonna. Oh, never mind. So, in this case, we got the accuracy mod equals your strength, but there is no other uh, conquest mod to use Orb of Dominance on. So, I'm gonna go buy more fossils, and uh, once I hit the item, I'll uh, continue. Alright, so uh, we're back with the mod that we want is gain accuracy equal to your strength and another mod work cries have the other the second mod really doesn't matter it is only there to serve as being replaced and elevate the accuracy hopefully this goes well and wow it actually worked <laughs> this does usually not go this smooth okay so now that you got the two elevated mods, which is the strength and this, now you're going to use an Awakener's Orb and move the minus Chaos Res onto this helmet and it's going to completely re-roll re all the mods on the base that you want to keep minus the, the influence modifiers. So we're going to take this, there's only one Hunter modifier and move it onto this, which is which has only one conquest modifier. So we're gonna move this onto this and hopefully hit something good. T3 lightning res, T4 life, T1 hybrid. Okay, that is probably better than what I have currently on my helmet. Um, yeah, so, um, 
in this case i'm probably gonna keep it just like this but in k in the unfortunate and probable circumstance that you will not hit this let's do a simulation of what happens when you have um really bad modifiers so let's pretend uh let's remove that and remove that right so let's say you got this but you only got one prefix now the ideal scenario of, for this weapon is to um get plus two gems okay so we're gonna go to the benchcraft and craft a prefix which is suffixes cannot be changed if only i could click there we go this basically guarantees that our suffixes would remain untouched and the way i personally do it is use a Vel chaos orb and slam it this will keep your suffixes like i said in place and give you a veiled modifier now it's very important that after this step you always need to check the weighting of the mods that you want so let's go to helmets and strength and we're going to scroll all the way down to veiled modifiers veiled prefixes as you see, there are a lot of mods that actually give you nothing. Um, like region life and flat mana, very bad. Evasion while focused, bad. Fizz reduction while focused, pretty bad. Taken, fizz taken as fire. That can be good in certain situations, but it all depends on your build. Uh, minions, very bad. Now, in order for us to get to get a favorable outcome we need to block a modifier uh, now depending on what build you're playing let's say you're playing cyclone you want plus two melee strike range right if you're playing like me venom gyre um, you would probably want projectile gems or aoe gems to get the benefit of uh, socketing your auras in there and getting them for another two levels right so in this case what uh, taking into consideration the, the mods that they are and the weighting of them, we're gonna block, for example, um, let's say region life and flat mana. You're gonna bench craft this, and let's see what is it region life. Oh, prefix, my bad. Um, region life, region life, what is it? region life and flat mana there is they're on the craft one mod of this and basically this guarantees that the unveil cannot hit this specific mod and then you go to june and unveil and as you can see here you got a plus two projectile gems and projectiles pierce an additional target which can be good for uh probably venom gy or something like that you get the pierce it's okay probably probably not <laughs> But in case you get something like that you don't really want, or then you just repeat the previous phase, which is going back to suffix cannot be changed and slamming another one, blocking region, and then unveiling. Now you get region, you get flat life, which is debatable. You can do this. This is exactly what I did in my helmet. I got. Uh, flat life and then I crafted uh, plus one AOE gems like you can see in here now depending on what you're playing if you want cyclone you want melee strike range but the principle is the same you do surface cannot be changed and then reforge until you actually hit um, whatever you want if you want life you get life if you want AOE you get AOE and stuff like that as a side mention, if you do not get if you do not get a resistance in your suffix, you can target slam, so to say, a resistance by doing the following. You go to prefixes bench and you craft suffixes cannot be changed. Now, if you do, for example, reforge fire. Oops, wrong one. Reforge fire then there is a chance for you to get a resist. Is it a good one? Mm, sometimes, sometimes not. But given that if you have like an open suffix, there is nothing stopping you 
doing a quick reforge fire and hopefully getting something like this, like a T1 resist, which is big, big, big money. Again, this is guaranteeing you a resist. Now, if you do, for example, lightning, same story, you can get a decent resist just by reforging it. So that is in the case you do not have a oh, you, you do not have a third suffix. That is how you craft uh, these things. And like I said, it's pretty the, the pathing path to crafting this is pretty set in stone. There is nothing too revolutionary here. It's just the RNG factor of hitting the orb of dominance and then getting a good awakener slam. I hope you find this build, this uh, video interesting. And it, if this helped you craft your items, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and stay safe.